Today I want to talk about MEWP classification terminology. MEWP classifications are made up of a combination of two key elements, group and type. An MEWP group is determined by where the platform location is in reference to the tipping line. Group A MEWPs are identified as an area lift design so that the platform does not extend past the tipping line in the elevated position. Great examples of this are vertical mass lifts and scissor lifts. Group B MEWPs are identified as area lifts that are designed for the platform to be elevated outside of the tipping line. Examples of this are telescopic and articulating boom lifts. And I like to remember it this way. Group B equals boom lifts. Group A equals everything else. So keep that in mind moving forward for classifying the different lifts. Now let's talk about type. An MEWP type is in reference to traveling. There are three types of MEWPs. Type 1, traveling is allowed only with the MEWP in the stowed position. Remember, traveling is defined as self-propelled or manually propelled. That means push around. Now, type 2 is defined as traveling with the work platform in the elevated position is controlled by a point on the chassis. Now, please note, type 2 machines are very uncommon. And for this reason, we will not discuss them in area lift operator certification, and so we will not include them in today's video. Now, type 3 is a MEWP that has traveling with the work platform in the elevated position is controlled from a point on the work platform. So that would be basically all self-propelled modern area lifts. So, that's being said, we have four a particular classifications we need to deal with. 1A, 1B, 3A, and 3B. Now let's start by going through these one at a time. Type A, I'm sorry, Type 1, Group A, Stationary Vertical MEWPs. Traveling is allowed only with the MEWP in its stowed position. A great example again of this is the vertical mass lift, the push around vertical mass lift, like this one that I have right behind me. Now Type 1, Group B, would be a stationary boom lift. Traveling is only allowed with the MEWP in its stowed position. An example of a 1B aerial lift would be a trailer mounted boom lift. And so that would be 1A and 1B, basically the manually propelled lifts that are only allowed to be moved in the stowed position. Now let's move on to type 3A. Type 3A would be platform controlled, self propelled, vertical MEWPs. Traveling with the work platform in the elevated position is controlled by a point on the platform. And so this electric scissor lift next to me, or a rough terrain scissor lift, would be a 3A classified area lift. Now, type 3, group B, are platform controlled mobile boom lifts. Remember, B equals boom. So travel with the work platform in the elevated position is controlled from a point on the work platform. A great example of a 3B is this articulating boom lift next to me, but any telescopic or uh, uh, articulating self-propelled boom lift would be a 3B. Now that covers 1A, 1B, 3A, and 3B, the different classifications that we need to know. Just remember this, two groups, A and B, B equals boom. Everything else is in group A. Two types that we're concerned with here, type 1 and type 3. Type 1 lifts only travel or move in the stowed position, like a toe behind or a push around. And type 3 are self-propelled lifts where travel is controlled from a point on the work platform. I hope this helps you understand MEWP classification terminology.